Yo， 大家好，我是小马，欢迎来到马家、啊、今天的电影。Watching， 我不是药神。We got the fire going. I'm getting some more logs. It's a cold night. 哎呦！我在 ，He's got his place back. 嗯 ，I understand. So， 我们刚看完 ，I didn't expect it to be so sad. Look at the poster. It looks like a comedy, right? I think they did it on purpose, though, because you don't really expect it to be a sad film. Cool, man. Make cool. Watching that kind of movie to me always makes me think. I want to go and dig deeper. That's why the film works so well because everyone's gonna have an opinion on it. You know. Yeah. Did you enjoy the film? I did enjoy the film. Yeah. Overall, I think the actor's great. Yeah. Did you realize it's the same actor from the films we like? We watched yeah.、Before? We've seen him a couple of times, haven't we? Yeah. In the train one. Shut up. No. <laughs> Thanks for making me lunch, by the way. It's cool, really cool. I like the movie. It was kind of slapstick, wasn't it? Yeah. It was sort of like I read the review of it. Max is only a fly. <laughs> I enjoyed the comedy. Getting involved, and you said straight away, "Oh, Miss China, Miss Beijing." Right? It was the opening shot where they were in the little van. In Bangkok. In Bangkok. In Bangkok. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. And that reminded me straight away. All the time, I was expecting him to get discovered, so there was a lot of suspense, don't you think? Oh yeah, that, that was very well done. That the suspense was very yeah, well done.、Yeah. It reminded me a little bit. I think you said it as well, like a lock, stock, and two smoking barrels, or an Ocean's Eleven kind of. Yeah, it's sort of like a, like a crime movie, right? Yeah, and also they have the different kind of characters that that is so common in、uh, movies like Ocean's Eleven.、Yeah. So the priests. Yeah. Yes, I didn't even notice that actually. You just reminded yeah, me, Mr. Leo. They had all the like at the beginning the title sequence. They'll show in all the people, and then they'll、yeah. flash over to you and freeze、yeah. and yellow hair. Like, see, that's. The guy called Yellow Hair. He reminded me of loads of young guys I see in like trendy bars in Beijing, like、mm-hmm. Mao Live and School Bar. He looks a bit like Monkey King, so calm. But he was sad at the end, of course, because he was killed, wasn't he? Yeah. The priest. He reminded me as well when I first went to China in Qingdao. Professor Zhu. He spoke English. He was one of the very few that spoke English, and he was one of the oldest. It was very, very serious subject, right? Cancer. And the overpriced、uh, medicine. medicine. It was made more the comedy angle made it more accessible, accessible. To, a, to a wider audience. When we were just about to finish the film, I said, "Oh, I hope they leave it a bit open here."、And、I think less is more、yeah. in a situation like that.、And、towards the end, it was kind of you knew what type of person the main character was. Oh, he's a Robin Hood type. But for a lot of the film, you weren't sure because he was like, "I don't care. I'm not a patient. I'm you know I'm here for the money." His character arc was sort of it goes from one of those guys on the streets that's just trying to make his living. Towards the end, he it's that thing with the morality. Right, he kind of shifts、yeah. into like a hero figure. I like the scene where the doctor and then someone got a phone call, and then she said to him, she whispered in his ear, and he goes, "Jinma, Liang Jinma," and then they were so、uh, happy, you know.、Uh, and it was a scam, wasn't it? Yeah. I like yellow hair. Where he went for a poo, didn't he? Hongmo. <laughs> <laughs> and you saw police, and you knew that they were going to get caught. So he wanted to help him escape, didn't he?、Yeah. And he was going to take the rap for it. Hongmo. Yeah. Or did he go back to jail? Unfortunately, he got killed. Hongmo, go to jail. Go to jail. And he waits for the patients to get away with medicine. That's the sort of thing where the sentimental thing works. Huang Mo, and he kind of gets annoyed at the main character because he's trying to up the price. It touches you not because the movie tells you to be sad, but it touches you because you think about, oh, yeah, there must be loads of people who can't afford this. The sad thing is just the cost of makes you think about how、uh, helpless you would be in this case, this leukemia drug that was just so prohibitively high, right? How do you explain it? It's like taxing water to the highest degree that you can't even buy it. To- but it happens all over. I mean, if you think about it, people can change it. it comes down to people in the end. Why is that medicine that expensive? Because it's a monopoly. What did they say? It was forty thousand RMB a bottle?、Mm. You can't do that. No, nobody probably. can do that. Do you have any knowledge on cancer treatments in England? Fortunately, touch wood. Touch wood. Ooh, I'm getting a huggy.、Yeah. Any, anyone? Ow!、Oh. Fortunately, I don't know anybody. The camera techniques are amazing. I really love the cinematography.、Mm. Just this one scene. Look at that. That was really nice. Yeah. Driving in the car,、mm-hmm. the depth of field. Everyone in the back is blurred, and he's in the middle.、It、makes you feel empathy for it. But then I don't understand why they take their mask off. But he asked them at the beginning, "Can you take your mask off? I don't even recognise. I can't even see your faces." And then she explained that they were more vulnerable, but they took them off anyway. Remember? 
which is that's a reference to that. Are there any scenes that left a long lasting impression on you? For me, the ones I liked the best were the ones that remind me of China. Just very simple scenes like eating hot pot. Um, oh yeah, where they were sitting around the table eating hot pot. That was yeah. kind of sad when he said he wasn't selling them anymore. All those things, just everyday life stuff I like the best, to be honest. Chen Yong is a great actor, I like Yong him. Good. But would you say he's your favourite? Yeah, without doubt, yeah. Who's your least favourite character? Probably the police chief. My favourite character, I think, was you know, the guy with the glasses. And the three he, masks. Yeah, I think yeah. he was just goofy. I, lo I loved him. Oh, no, the rep. He was horrible, wasn't he? No, I liked him. He was alright. Really? I nah, he was a good character. Oh, I'm out of here. I didn't like him. What score would you give the film out of 10? Maybe 7. Hello. You want to watch the movie? I'd give it an 8 out of 10. I liked it. So we'd like you to tell us what you thought of the movie. That's the for That's our goal. And I think they should recommend any other films. Yes, please. 跟我爸说拜拜，再见啊，谢谢。希望你们给我们点个赞，留个评论，go watch all my other videos, do everything. Bye bye. Where's my chopsticks? I'm not even with a fork. Okay, go get chopsticks. What are you doing to me? Easy with a fork. Easy with a fork. Yeah. Eat Chinese food? Are you kidding me? Well, I made it into small little pieces, so it would technically be easier. But okay. Water, water.